Hi, this is Stacy from the Complete Herbal Guide. In the last video, we talked about some quick and easy tips for naturally beautiful skin. In this video, we're going to go over some simple and effective ways to help stop thinning hair. Many people consider hair loss as a male problem, but the truth is that hair loss can affect men, women, and even children. There are many factors that can lead to hair loss. Hereditary is often the main contributor, but a poor diet, health problems, and even other factors can lead to thinning hair. If you're troubled with thinning hair, don't despair. There are several things you can do to slow down, stop, or even reverse the process altogether. Tip number one, don't ignore your scalp. So much attention is paid to the hair itself that the scalp usually goes unnoticed and uncared for. That's a mistake. Think of a garden. You'll never have healthy plants if you don't have quality ground for your plants to grow with. Your scalp is like the soil for your hair. It needs to be healthy in order to produce a healthy crop of hair. Make sure you shampoo your hair often. You should do this to prevent the buildup of dirt and oils and residue from the hair care products that you're using. Also, make sure you take some time to do a gentle care massage on your scalp. If you go on our website, thecompleteherbalguide.com, you'll find lots of different scalp massages that you can do that don't cost a lot of money and you can do right from your own home. Tip number two, be careful which products you use. Take it easy on the harmful things that you do to your hair and be careful which products you use. When looking for shampoos and conditioners, you should consider all natural products. Many shampoos still have sulfates in them. These are very harsh chemicals and they're usually put into shampoo to create foam. But the long-term effect on your hair and your scalp as a whole can be very serious. Tip number three, hairstyles can lead to hair loss. Go easy on perms, hair coloring, and heated styling devices, including hair dryers. Instead, try to let your hair dry naturally as much as possible. And if you do want to color your hair, wait at least six weeks between each treatment. Tip number four, avoid hairstyles that can break your hair. Try to avoid hairstyles that can break your hair. Things like ponytails and cornrows are horrible for your hair since they will tear, rip, and stretch the hair, which can cause permanent damage. Try to wear these hairstyles once in a while, not all the time. Tip number five, keep your hair healthy by keeping your body healthy. Make sure to keep your hair healthy by always keeping your body healthy. Just like with your skin, a healthy diet is essential to growing a beautiful, full head of hair. Make sure you get the proper vitamins and minerals. Also, drink plenty of water and get enough of sleep. We often forget that what happens on the outside of our bodies, such as hair loss, is sometimes a direct result of what's going on on the inside of our bodies. So remember, try to be healthy and take good care of yourself. Tip number six, take the right supplements. You can amp up your diet by taking supplements. Calcium in particular has been shown to help strengthen hair roots and hair follicles at the scalp, which can lead to more and thicker hair growth. Tip number seven, try hair restoration products. If you're not familiar with their product line for men and women struggling with hair loss and hair thinning, then you should visit their website at Hair Restoration Labs. Hair Restoration offers men and women products supported by science that actually work to address hair loss caused by genetics. I tried them so I could definitely attest to them. Featuring its DHT Holton technology, Hair Restoration Laboratory focuses slowly on addressing DHT, the hormone that's responsible for genetic hair loss. By following some of these simple steps, you can help ensure that you'll keep a full head of healthy, beautiful hairs for years to come. We've learned a lot about our bodies in the last several decades, especially when it comes to anti-aging. We now know that some of the signs of aging are not unavoidable, 
but we do have some control, and just making a few simple changes to your daily routine, you can be more healthy on the inside and more beautiful on the outside. Make sure to look for our next video soon. We'll be talking about some great ways to cover dark under eye circles and reduce puffiness. Thanks so much for listening to our video. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment in the comment box. Until then.